Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jaden. Welcome to my channel. Merry Christmas, everyone, and Happy New Year! Because New Year is right around the corner. In today's video, I want to talk to you as I'm walking to a bar. Okay, I want to talk to you about the state of the West and especially women. Okay, like this year, I've been an absolute shock many many times when i've met women in real life on the streets in the bars in the clubs been on dates spending time with women and the sort of sense that i get from women is they want to be able to have total freedom to be able to like do whatever they want to do they want to flirt with 10 guys and and give their phone numbers to 150 guys and they want to kiss other guys in front of you and shit like that and me having a Muslim upbringing okay and not just having a Muslim upbringing but more like just being a guy who values respect okay and I value respect more than I value love I think for me respect is the ultimate form of love oh 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 that's a good bar that, that, that's a good line and for me if I'm in the process of picking up a chick and all of a sudden, she starts talking to other guys in front of me. All of a sudden, she starts to act disrespectfully. Obviously, I'm going to call it out. And the thing that I want to mention here is online dating coaches, men from the manosphere, uh, just male content creators, they say, don't let a girl disrespect you. Uh, stand up for yourself. But what happens in real life when you do that? This is what I want to talk about because th that's actually what, what makes me shocked. So in real life, when you call out a woman's bullshit behavior, when you call out a woman's disrespectful behavior here in the West, because we're talking about the West. I'm not talking about, you know, like third world countries or something like that. I'm talking about just like the West. So here in the West, when you do that, you would think, you would think that women would go, oh, thank you for letting me know, I appreciate that, or that women would be uh, getting more attracted to you. Like, oh my God, it's a real man. Like, he doesn't let me do whatever I want to do. That's what you would think if you listen to the content, right? But in real life, when you call a woman out for her bullshit behavior, they get mad, they get pissed off, and they think you're weird, okay? So you're just wanting to keep like a, a respectful uh, presence, right? You want respect around you. But then they, they don't want to adhere to your program. You tell them, don't flirt with other guys in front of me. Uh, I don't like the way you're talking to me. Uh, blah, 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 right? And then she goes, you're the weird one. She gets mad at you. She doesn't want to talk to you anymore. She's not interested in you anymore. She thinks you're insecure. And the reason why she thinks you're insecure, because, you know, actually you're not insecure. You just have boundaries and it's disgusting. Okay, you, 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 there's a girl in front of you and she's flirting with other guys and whatever. This is disgusting. Okay, it's disgusting. So you're actually having boundaries, okay? And then she thinks you're weird. She thinks that you're the problem she doesn't see that she's the problem. And the reason why she doesn't see that she's the problem, guys, this is what I want to tell you. Huh, I'm getting winded today. Just walking, it's crazy. I was out uh, drinking last night, so... I'm not in my best shape today, guys, to be honest. But, you know, I'm just going to go out, I'm going to enjoy myself. Is Okay, the reason is because of the simps. That's the reason. It's the simps. There is a, there is a huge surge of beta males guys with no spine guys that have no boundary and no self-respect and also guys that are willing to sacrifice everything to get laid like everything 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 like they don't care if they're respected they don't care if they're treated well and this is like in our modern society these are like all the guys so she's used to flirting with guys in front of g other guys. She's used to disrespecting guys. She's used to uh, nobody calling out any of her behavior. Like zero, 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 zero. 
And when you call out her behavior, when you tell her, hey, no, 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 no. Then she feels, okay, inside herself, she feels, oh, but like, why do I need to go with this guy that has rules? Why do I need to go with this guy that has boundaries when I can find another guy that has no boundaries? Another guy that's gonna let me be free. Because this is what feminism is all about here in the West. Total freedom and no responsibility. She wants to be able to do whatever she wants to do and she wants nobody to have a say in it, okay? And I can tell you so many crazy stories, but I wanna keep this video not too long, okay? So quite recently, I'll share what you want. Quite recently, I was out with a girl and we went out drinking and dancing and hanging out, you know? And it, it's not our first time uh, spending time together. Uh, we're both interested in each other. And I, it was 6 a.m. Uh, no, so we're in a club. We're in a club, okay? We're in a club, okay? Before, I have to talk to you about before. So we're in a club, we're dancing, we're talking, we're having fun. And then some other guy tries to come in and talk to her. Uh, maybe two, three guys. And she ends up talking with them right in front of me on the dance floor so i tell her don't do that when you're with me you respect me you don't talk to other guys and she started flipping out on me hey why do you why do you say that like chill out i'm just being social and i told her you can be social on your free time like when you're by yourself with your friend talk to people like i don't care but like when you're with me you're with me and you know i've worked hard to build the image I worked hard to be somebody that is well liked in this city. I'm not going to be around some chick that's like so uh, easily accessible to everybody. You know what I mean? And I had to explain it to her. And we had this like huge argument already. You know what I mean? Then later, 6 a.m., we're both drunk. And now it's time to go home. So I'm like, let's go home. Like, I'm tired. Like, I got shit I need to do tomorrow. Let's go home. So we're outside the club and I'm trying to go home. And then she's walking up to dudes, asking them for cigarettes and ending up in long conversations. And I basically told her, like, I basically told her, like, listen, it's not safe here. Okay. There's a bunch of random guys we don't know. Okay. Listen to this, guys. There's a bunch of random guys we don't know. I'm one second away from getting pissed. You and me, we go home or I walk you home, but I'm leaving. Okay, so either we go to my place or you go to your place, but I, like I'm leaving, I'm gone. Like it's 6 a.m. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stay on the street chatting to some random dudes. And then she kept talking yada yada, and I just turned around and I left. I was so pissed. 30 minutes later, I get a message from her on Instagram. And guess what, guys? Guess what she says? Guess what she says? You're never gonna guess. She says, "Hey, when you left, I got robbed." When you left, I got robbed. Now there's a little bit more to the story. There's a little bit more to the story because I tried to leave and then the, the, there were some guys there around us and they all told me to stay with her. They're like, no, no, bro, don't go, don't go, don't go, stay with her. And I told them as well. I'm like, I'm not gonna be hanging around some chick that's like at uh, 6 a.m. talking to a bunch of guys. Like I, I'm, I'm leaving, bye. So even the guys tried to make me stay and I left. And half an hour later, she hits me up on Instagram and she says, when you left, I got robbed. Here am I, okay, here I am, male authority. I'm not telling her, let's go home just to go home. I'm telling her because I know it's not safe. I know what I'm doing. I know the city. I know it's not safe for a girl just to be rocking around talking to random guys. But why is she doing what she's doing? Okay, she also wrote that in my message. I said, why do you do this stuff? And she said, because I wanted to show you my worst side in order for you, uh, in order to see if you could handle it. So basically she was testing me. She was talking to random guys and she was testing me to see how I would deal with it. And the way that I dealt with it was I have a boundary. I don't like it. I don't want it in my life. You guys understand what I'm saying? And she thought I was weird for having that boundary. 
and 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 and, and, and in the end she ended up getting robbed guys like it's i can't make this shit up i can't make this shit up i remember a uh, uh, quick story again i remember i was dating a girl like we we just finished having sex it was our first date second date third date i don't remember and it, this was in the summer and we're walking we're talking and again she's rolling cigarettes talking to random dudes some random shit like that whatever and that's fine nothing happened but then we get into a a conversational topic okay uh, she says that sometimes she invites homeless guys to her house and I go you do what you invite homeless people to your house like random dudes homeless dudes off of the street she invites them to her, uh, her house and uh, she hosts homeless guys and I'm like you live alone right she's like yeah so she lives alone and she invites homeless guys to her house now, I just said, if you're going to be my girl, you ain't inviting no homeless guys to your house. And she's like, oh, you're so controlling, da, 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 da. I said, well, first of all, you're not even my girlfriend. You know, we're just hanging out. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, if, if uh, <laughs> you're inviting homeless guys, I don't think that's feminine. I don't think that's smart. And I don't think that's a safe thing to do. And she got so pissed off. She's like, oh, you don't care about homeless people, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, no, I don't. Actually, I don't. I don't. Especially if they're men. Okay, and I express my opinion. If you're a man, you need to go out and you need to fucking, you know, make something of yourself, you know? And like, uh, no, you know, nobody's coming to save you as a man. Like, you need to save yourself. And she's like, oh, that's so misogynistic, whatever, da, 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 da. We had a huge argument. Uh, I turn around, she turned around, we both walked separate directions. This was in the summer, never talked to her since. She's never talked to me either since. So you guys see, I got so many, I could go like make a one hour video about all the stories I have, you know? But you guys get the point. And now in the West, women want to be super free, super liberal. They want to do whatever they want to do. And they want to have no accountability, no responsibility, okay? And this is something that you guys gotta like keep in mind as you're dating and just know that if you have boundaries like me i have boundaries i have shit i don't like women to do you're gonna be viewed as weird you're gonna be viewed as weird because every other guy that she can potentially date is gonna be so desperate that if for example she flirts with another guy in front of him he's gonna be like yeah, whatever, babe, do what you want, you know, as long as I get some, I don't care, right? But for you, if respect is important to you, because it's for me, like, I don't give a fuck about pussy, guys. Like, respect is important. If a girl does something disrespectful, I say, don't do that again or fuck off, you know? And, and when you say that, when you are like that, in the West, it's not really appreciated. That's all I'm trying to say in this video. It's not appreciated. It's not like you get a golden medal. You're going to be viewed as a weirdo and that's something you have to live with you have to live with the risk of being viewed as a weirdo okay but you get something greater in return you get uh, you get uh, you get self-love you get respect you sleep good at night okay you sleep it might hurt a little bit when you talk to the girl and you you know you cute you talk to the girl and uh, ah, guys I'm gonna go back and try to talk to this girl it, it, it's gonna hurt a bit, okay? When you, uh, <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked, my guys. It's gonna hurt a little bit in the moment when you lose the girl, but ultimately you're gonna end up actually respecting yourself and sleeping better and feeling better and being better, okay? Now guys, that's all I wanted to say in this video today. There's a cute girl over there. I'm gonna go talk to her. If you like this video, like the goddamn video, comment down below, subscribe, and I see y'all, my brothers, in the next one, peace.